Okay, uh, we have looked at uh, how to compute the means and the variances of uh, random variables uh, when you shift the distribution or you scale it by a factor. Next, for, uh, for an important significant uh, special case, we will look at the, uh, this uh, function, a linear function of x, uh, and we will look at the correlation coefficient between x and y here, okay? So we have two random variables, random variable x and random variable y, where y is a linear function of random variable x. Here, of course, we will assume a is not zero, therefore y is not a constant. Um, to compute the correlation coefficient between x and y, we'll just apply the definition, which is the covariance between x and y divided by the product of the standard deviations of x and y. So the covariance we can write as the correlation between x and y minus the product of their means as seen here divided by the standard deviations. And when you write AX plus B, instead of these Y uh, random variables here, we have expected value of X times AX plus B minus the mean of X times the mean of AX plus B. And if you expand this expression, you will have AX squared plus BX. And you can take uh, the constants out of the expectation. So you will have A times second moment of X plus B times the mean of X. And on the, on, on the second term here, I will have mean of X and this will be A times the mean of X plus B. So if you expand this also, you will have A times the mean of X times the mean of X and minus B times expected value of X. So this cancels out with this and this, uh, we have A times the second moment of X minus A times the square of this, uh, the first moment, the expectation divided by, and you see this here, the standard deviation of Y, remember it is also scaled by uh, this A here and it's not affected by this shift. So the standard deviation of Y can be written as magnitude of A times standard deviation of X, okay? Therefore, standard deviation of X squared is the variance of X. And here, this expression here, as you know, is also the variance. So these also cancel out. What I have is A divided by the magnitude of A. And for A positive, this is plus one obviously, and when A is negative, this ratio is minus one. So what we have here is the observation that when you have a random variable Y defined as the linear function, as a linear function of uh, some other random variable X, the correlation coefficient between the two is either plus one or minus one, depending on the sign of A, the factor uh, of X. If A is positive, you see naturally when, y, when, when X increases, Y also increases. Therefore you have positive correlation, but the correlation is as large as it can get, right? The correlation coefficient is one. We, we know that the correlation coefficient is upper bounded by one. Therefore correlation coefficient of one means maximum correlation, okay? And when A is negative, you have, again, maximum correlation in terms of magnitude. You have the, uh, well, you have a negative correlation. When one increases, the other decreases, but the, 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 the relationship between them is uh, very close. In fact, you can uh, say that when you have plus or minus one correlation coefficient, the relationship is exactly linear. One random variable is a certainly a linear function of the other, okay? Maximum correlation occurs only in this case. Okay, so to summarize, if you have a random variable Y defined as a linear function of another random variable X, the correlation coefficient between them is plus or minus one, depending on the sign of A. 
And if you look at it the other way around, if you know the correlation coefficient between two random variables, X and Y is either plus one or minus one, you can be sure that the relationship between X and Y is a linear function and the coefficient of X uh, determines the sign of the correlation coefficient. 